For decades, the world has been making an effort to prevent climate change, focusing on renewable energy and reducing carbon emissions. But what if we suddenly stopped caring? What would happen to our planet? What would happen to us? This is what if. And here's what would happen if we stopped trying to prevent climate change. From the year 1880 until now, the Earth's temperature has increased by 0.9 Celsius. That may not sound like a whole lot to us, but for our planet, it's making a huge impact. It's led to the ice caps melting and more deaths than ever from heat stroke. Humans have been trying to make things right. Concerned countries are putting more effort into lowering emissions, switching to renewable energy, and recycling more. France is even planning to ban the sale of gas and diesel cars by 2040. We may not be perfect, but at least we're trying. But what would happen if we just suddenly stopped caring? If we were to give up and just stop trying to do something about our changing climate, our future wouldn't look too bright. If you think climate change only affects the weather, you'd be wrong. It affects everything, from our oceans, to our food supply, and even our own health. First off, if we do nothing, the Earth will continue to get hotter. We're not talking about more beach days either, we're talking extreme temperatures that will continue to increase. The temperature will rise so drastically that around 2030, we'll see an additional 30,000 deaths every year due to climate change. Most of them will be from the extreme heat in China and Australia, as they'll have some of the highest temperatures reaching over 46 degrees on average. It's no surprise that warmer weather will cause the Arctic to get greener, and polar bears, already a threatened species, will eventually go extinct. Melting ice will lead to rising oceans. Much of the world's coastline will be underwater. NASA estimates sea levels have the potential to rise by 4 feet by the year 2100, and then by 23 feet by the time all the ice eventually melts. In North America, the majority of the East Coast would vanish, as well as the Gulf Coast and most of Florida. Over in Europe, London would be a distant memory. Same goes for Venice, Brussels and Moscow. Hong Kong and Bangladesh will be underwater as well, leaving hundreds of millions of people homeless. Essentially, any region on an ocean coast is in huge danger of flooding. Experts say if we do nothing, the planet's greenhouse gas emissions will eventually double what they are today. Getting our atmosphere back to normal will take tens of thousands of years. The UN's climate change report predicts weather will continue to get more extreme, with bigger storms, tsunamis, hurricanes. Higher ocean temperatures and rising sea levels will cause hurricanes to move faster and become more violent. These powerful storms will cause major deterioration of North America's transportation infrastructure. Central America will experience the opposite problem. They'll get less rainfall than ever before. This will be due to air pollution and increased temperatures in the area. In the Caribbean Sea, coral reefs will continue to get bleached due to the warmer temperatures and the ocean absorbing tons of emissions. Warmer water causes coral to expel the algae living in their tissue. After that, they begin to starve. Snowy winters and family ski trips will be a thing of the past in North America. You can kiss those goodbye in the decades after we stop caring about climate change. Snow will be replaced with more extreme rainfalls throughout the year. By the year 2100, our Earth will look completely different. Water supplies will be threatened, species will cease to exist, and there will be a dramatic increase in forest fires. Combine that with extreme heat, uninhabitable land and food shortages, and it'll be a struggle for humans to continue to exist. But it doesn't have to turn out like this. If we all work together to limit CO2 emissions, our environment can remain sustainable and habitable. Species would survive, and we'd have less food shortages. Flooding may still happen, but we'd have a better chance at preventing it. Experts say we're already too far gone not to experience some repercussions. But if we're not trying, then what's the point? What kind of world do you want to live in? So if you can, bike to work tomorrow. Continue to recycle and maybe eat vegetarian at least once a week. Maybe in the future, preventing climate change won't be so hypothetical. But if you're interested in things that are, keep joining us on What If.